already washed my hands today. If it's important to wash your hands throughout the day. I already washed my hands today. You brush your teeth every night? Wash with but keep your butt fresh and clean. You acting so cray cray. And to get your fishy fishy with no nostrils. Nice and clean. Something is clearly wrong. You can wash it with poo. That's right. Line up everybody. And make sure to be as tightly packed together as possible. But who? And we even sell fishy fishy with no nostrils. Ladies and gentlemen, step right up and take a look at our huge selection of fine poos. George, this is Mummy Pig, and this is Daddy Pig. <laughs> Peppa Pig. Nom nom. George's woolly hat. That was made with the best coronavirus. Today, George is wearing a new woolly hat. <laughs> Hold on to your hat, George, or it will blow off. <laughs> oh, she's actually trying to teach me something. Pepper and George have arrived at Granny and Grandpa Pig's house. Granny Pig! Grandpa Pig! We saw you coming and called the FBI. Now children, play nicely. And George, don't get your new hat muddy. <laughs> Good one. You're actually trusting us with something as important as a hat that was made with the best coronavirus. Thank you, Grandpa Pig. See you later. Bye-bye! Come on, Pepper and George. Let's go down to the garden. This will definitely not backfire and cause a conflict involving me and my coronavirus hat. Because there is absolutely no way you can get anything dirty in an area that is full of soil and manure. Yes! yes. <laughs> George, remember what Mummy Pig said about your hat? Yes, yes, Granny Pig. You're more annoying than her. Sheesh. <laughs> Pepper and George have found a large pile of manure. Ooh, what's this, Grandpa? Well, it's cleaner and less stinky than you. Which isn't that impressive. You could compare a person that just got attacked by a skunk in you, and you, Peppa, you will still be smellier. Wonderful stuff. 
I put it on my vegetables to make them grow big and strong. On a related note, can I eat manure? It looks very yummy in my pink oversized tummy. <laughs> it's the muckiest, smelliest thing in the garden. Uh, probably best if you two stand back. What is that? An oversized fork. If it is, then that's not fair because it was my idea to eat manure. There. Let's go spread some muck. This is Grandpa Pig's cabbage patch. I'm so proud of these cabbages. Don't you dare touch them. Every plant you two touch dies. Would you like some manure? <laughs> it is getting windy. Hold on to your hat, George. Since she didn't warn me soon enough, if I go down, she's going down with me. Oh dear, the wind has blown George's hat off. George! Let my saving voice calm me. Catch it! George's hat is caught in a tree. George! You're in so much trouble. You are so messy. Boy, if I actually had a heart, I would feel sorry for you. Oh, but your hat is still clean. <laughs> Thank goodness for that. I'll get it down for you. I'm so close, I can feel its ugliness. Oh, wait, that's just George. But I can feel its coronavirus. Uh, perhaps I had better help. No, Grandpa, I can do it. I'm a monkey. Ooh, ooh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Better yet, make it a gorilla. Whoops. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear, Pepper is covered in mud. Looks like George isn't the only one that's in a lot of trouble. <laughs> George's hat is on top of some reeds in the pond. Lucky for us, your hat is still ugly to the point that I can barely look at it. George? But how do we get it? This is a job for a grown-up. Hmm. I'm wondering whether I'm a child or an adult. I have the body of an adult, but the brain of a child. Don't fall in, Grandpa! I know what I'm doing, Peppa. Reach, reach, reach as far as you can. You can't reach me. I'm the invisible hat man. I can reach it! I see a big piggy who needs a bar. Well, I see a fat pig that needs to be thrown into the Mariana Trench. <laughs> <laughs> Grandpa Pig, what on earth are you doing? I'm having a cup of tea. No, you're not. Am I the only one that has an actual sense of humor? All you clods do is boss people around. Sheesh, can't take the joke. It is perfectly clear to see that I have fallen into the pond. That was a silly thing to do. Pepper, George, you're so dirty. I mistook you for mud that can stand and walk and talk. We were trying to get George's hat back, Granny. Where is George's hat anyway? It's flying in the sky. I'm stuck. I'm stuck. I'm stuck. I'm stuck. I will get George's hat back and then you can all get cleaned up. Five bucks say she won't be able to do it. I would use a stick. Thank you, everyone, but it's perfectly fine. I've got boots on. If you walk on that manure, you will sink. Bad boy, bad boy. I don't like you, Grandpa Hog, because I don't like clods. I could reach it. Got it. Yeah! Oh, dear. Granny Pig is covered in manure. You were wrong and we were right. Now excuse us as we do our I told you so laughs. <laughs>, <laughs> Mummy Pig has come to pick up Pepper and George. Hello! Grandpa Pig, I thought you promised... I wouldn't have to take care of them ever again. I think you will find we promised not to let George's hat get muddy. And it's not muddy! It's perfectly clean. They, they, tricked me. They lied to me. I didn't want to see Pepper and Cinnamon ever again. <laughs> yes, I can see. The only clean thing around here is George's woolly hat. <laughs> My family is having seizures, so goodbye. But please stick around to see our good friends Ben and Holly in their little kingdom. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.